is from 1 uh, Timothy chapter 1. And it's particularly the last, um, the last verse of this section, 12 to uh, 17, that really I want to draw your attention to. So pay particular attention to verse 17, though, of course, this is God's word. So uh, we'll hear God's word, first of all, from 1 Timothy chapter 1, beginning at verse 12. We thank him who has given me strength, Christ Jesus our Lord, because he judged me faithful, appointing me to his service, though formerly I was a blasphemer, persecutor, and insolent opponent. But I received mercy because I have acted ignorantly in unbelief. And the grace of our Lord overflowed for me through the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus the saying is trustworthy and full deserving of and, and deserving of full acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am the foremost. But I received mercy for this reason that in me as the foremost, Jesus Christ might display his perfect patience as an example to those who are to believe in him for eternal life. To the king of the ages, immortal, invisible, the only God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. And then Psalm 115. Not to us, not to us, but to your name give glory. For the sake of your steadfast love and faithfulness, why should the nation say, where is